Welcome one and all to another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Highline Series 1 to 50 scale Caterpillar M318 wheeled excavator. As you can see, it is part of their Highline Series. It comes in the white outer shipping box with the SKU or item number written on the side. Let's go ahead and begin the unboxing by cutting open one side of the box. That allows us access to the metal tin, which, as always, is protected by the white nylon bag. Here's our first glimpse at the model due to the high quality render on the side of it. Again, your item number for reference 85956, the cat logo, 1 to 50 scale. These are adult collectibles, not recommended for anyone under the minimum age of 14. Both sides of the tin are identical with the Diecast Masters logo and slogan, along with Highline series. As you can see, same thing on the back. Bottom of the tin, for those interested, is basically just all of your copyright information, as well as the cat scan to win logo. All right, the top of the tin has a picture of the real machine hard at work, and the back of the tin has another photo of it, this time with a smooth ditch cleaning bucket. Left-hand column provides us information on the machine's real dimensions, specifications, and engine detail. If you are into that kind of thing, please feel free to pause the video now. For the rest of us, let's continue the unboxing by popping a top. We are greeted with the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Catalog. Again, I encourage all collectors to hang on to this as it acts as a little bit of a checkoff list for models in your collection and ones you'd like to add. The other piece of documentation is a single-sided instructional sheet on how to place the operator inside the cab or the cabin. Again, I will go and demonstrate that here momentarily. You can see two finger holes right here. Stick your fingers in the supplied finger holes. Pull up. Next, we find our model inside, along with a sorting grapple, the operator figure, a tweezers, as well as another kind of bucket. So let's go ahead and take everything out, beginning with the excavator. So here's the 318. Here's the operator figure. Here's the tweezers. Here's the other supply bucket. And last but not least, the sorting grapple. With all that done, you are ready to display your model. Continuing with the video, we need to insert our operator figure in the cab. To do this, as the instructions tell you, push down on the back portion of the cab. It will release the top of it. Take your operator, drop him into the seat. Make some final adjustments to make sure that he is seated exactly how you want him to be. Obviously, you can put the cab back on at this point by doing exactly the same as you did to take it off, only doing it in reverse. With the cab lid now on let's go over some of the attachments that are included first up we have the cat sorting grapple this is a die cast metal component it will rotate 360 degrees as well as close and open other highlights include the cat modern hex decal graphic on it along with those yellow stickers which are warning labels the other attachment is a ditch cleaning bucket or a smooth cleaning bucket again an all die cast piece as you can hear and the final attachment included with the set is another style of smooth bucket, which comes factory installed on the 318. Continuing on with the features overview, you can see that with the help of a pointer, you can get the cab door to open, and it will open to a very good angle. Conversely, though, this opening engine hatch is supposed to open, but after nearly 45 minutes and three different pointers, the fit and finish is so tidy that I could not get mine opened to show you the detail inside. On the other side, however, this hatch opened perfectly, and there are a bunch of rewarding mechanical components that await you inside for you to study and look at. Other details include the nice venting on this side, which is applied with a graphic. More decals, including the Cat Modern Hex, Grade Control, M3118, another Cat Modern Hex logo, a warning label here on the stick. This is a wheeled excavator, obviously, so it does have wheels instead of tracks, as well as a front dozing blade. On both sides of the blade, you can see the red lights. Also, on the stick of the excavator, you can see that they have modeled hydraulic lines, as well as auxiliary lines, going to power some of the attachments. Looking from the top-down view, you can see the anti-slip texturing, as well as the global positioning pods, as well as the rear view camera. 
And that brings us back to the rear of the machine where another Cat Modern Hex graphic awaits us along with some lights and lights on the stabilizer legs as well. The top portion of the cab has a orange clear beacon light. Other details on the cab include mirrors with silvered surfaces and a corresponding one on this side as well as on the top. Those are the details and decals. Let's move on now to functionality. In addition to the opening cab door and access panels, additional functionality include the ability for the tires to roll in either direction. You can lower the front dozer blade as seen here. And this allows the machine added stability when it is working. On the back, you have two outrigger legs, which again, serve the same purpose as the front dozer blade. So let's rotate those down. Make sure the pads are level with the ground, which also rotate. There you go. And now you can have your machine off the ground, wheels free. Raising those back up, we can take a look at the boom, stick, and bucket functionality. So let's go ahead and do that right now. This is a two-piece boom. One part, two part, your stick and bucket. Let's see how that works. You can raise it up to an extent of here, which is excellent. That's exactly what you want to see on a wheeled excavator. Your stick will go out to here. And both parts of your boom will go down to a height and a depth of approximately here. There is a little bit more play, but at this point we are running into significant resistance from the cylinders, so I would not encourage you to go much farther down than this. Another piece of functionality is a steerable rear axle. As you can see, I'm rotating that. Now, how about a parked transport load for the boom and the stick? There you go. We'll go down here, or... You can curl it up like this and place it on a low boy trailer. With that done, that is the features and the functionality of the model. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll see what it looks like on a low boy trailer. One of the display possibilities that you can do with this model is putting it on a large low boy trailer. Although in most countries and states, it, this machine is legal to travel down the road by itself. But if you do want to put it on a low boy, this is what you end up with. Now, another posing opportunity is to pose the excavator loading a dump truck, so we will do that pose now. Obviously, in the real world, you'd have your dozer blade down and your outrigger pads down, but to save some time for the review, there you go. That's what it looks like loading a Diecast Masters 1 to 50 scale Western Star dump truck. In the beginning part of the video, you may recall that the machine comes with a total of three different interchangeable attachments. Bucket A bucket B, and a sorting grapple seen here. To demonstrate how the attachments go on the quick coupler, here's what we're going to do. You're going to put the bottom part in first, slide that in, then rotate up, and it will lock on as seen right here. Once you have done that, you're ready to rotate the sorting grapple around, and you can also close it or open it to depict a sort material scrap handling display. That brings us to an end of another Diecast Emporium review. Overall, the Diecast Masters 1 to 50 scale Caterpillar M318 wheeled excavator is a nice addition to your excavator collection. Just like the machine in the real world, this doesn't come with your standard metal or steel tracks. It comes with wheels, allowing this machine to travel on roads making it an ideal model to display doing some standard municipal or local, state, and county road repairs on your layout. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you found this review insightful and helpful, please let me know down in the comment section below. Additionally, take a look at your screen right now where you will see a couple suggested links for other recently reviewed Diecast Masters Caterpillar models. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.